An important component of quantifying the composition of any compound is to determine the ratio of the different elements present in that compound. When these ratios are calculated in terms of mass, they are known as the percent composition. The law of definite proportion states that in any sample of a compound, the elements that are bound together are always present in the same ratio. And one way of representing that ratio is the mass percent, where the percent of any element x is simply equal to the mass of that element in the compound divided by the total mass of the compound. And we multiply by 100, of course, to make it a percent. Now you can determine the mass of the element and the mass of the total compound in one of two ways. They can be determined from experimental mass analysis of the compound itself. So this is laboratory analysis. Or if you know the formula of the compound, you can use the formula and formula masses to calculate your mass percent. So this is a sample of data that you might get from an experimental analysis of a compound composition. A 50 gram sample of an iron oxide yields 34.97 grams of iron and 15.03 grams of oxygen. What's the mass percent composition of this compound? In order to calculate this, we just need to use that percent composition formula. We do it twice though, once for iron and once for oxygen. So for the percent of iron, we get 34.97 grams of iron divided by the total mass of that compound, which was 50 grams of our sample, and times 100%. So that gives us 69.94% iron. We do the same thing for oxygen, except using the mass of oxygen. So 15.03 grams of oxygen divided by the total mass of our sample, that beginning mass of 50 grams. Multiplied by 100 gives us 30.06%. And hopefully you notice that both of these numbers add up to 100, which is exactly what you would expect considering there's only two elements in this particular compound. You can also calculate percent composition of a compound from the formula if you know it. So I know I haven't given you the formula for carbon dioxide, but you know what it is. It's CO2. For the total mass of the compound, I just calculate either the formula mass or the molar mass. In this case, I'm calculating molar mass because I'm using units of grams per mole. For carbon dioxide, that's 12.01 for carbon. I have one uh, carbon in that formula, uh, plus two oxygens in the formula times its mass from the periodic table of 16.00. That gives me a total molar mass for the compound of 44.01. I use this in the denominator of my percent composition formula. And then on the top, I'm only asked for the percent of oxygen, um, so I just use 2 for my 2 oxygen in the formula times the periodic table mass, 16, and divide by the total mass times 100 to give me a final percent of oxygen of 72.71%. Now, I'm not asked for the percent of carbon in this particular problem, but you can figure it out because you know that the total mass has to equal 100. There are only two elements, so if oxygen is 72.71%, then carbon has to be 100 minus 72.71%, or in this case, 27.29%. So in summary, the percent composition of a compound represents the mass ratio of any element within that compound to the total mass of the compound. And percent composition can be calculated from experimental masses or from the formula.